Hi everyone and welcome to my channel Be Yourself. This is Dr. Ji Sharma and today this is the last video of this uh, explanation as well as answer key for part B of CSI or GRF Net Life Sciences. So let's start with the first question. Which of the following is true for the cells harboring F plasmid? Their F plasmid is non-functional. It's not true. Uh, yes, it is not true. They, ex uh, they exhibit increased rate of transfer of all chromosomal genes. It doesn't transfer the all chromosome genes, rather it uh, transfer only the F factor. And they are marrow diploid. This is true. Actually, what happened? This is actually uh, occur in case of high frequency recombination where the bacteria have, sorry, where the bacteria has along with its own genetic material, Suppose this is the mesosomes or bacteria and this is the F factor. The one which has having F factor is known as F positive. But what happens? F positive uh, bacteria. But in the case of HFR or high frequency recombination, this F factor get integrated with the genetic material of the bacteria itself. Like this. This is the F factor. And what happened during conjugation? This when it will form sex pili and it will consecrate with its uh, F minus bacteria due to the cir uh, rolling circle mechanism. This this will be uh, passed to the, the F minus bacteria. Okay, sorry. So what happened uh, when this will pass to uh, this bacteria? This already have its own genetic material and when it will not pass whole of the genetic material, rather it will part of part of the its own uh, genetic material along with the F plasmid so when it get get transferred to here it will be something like this so along with the F uh, factor it has some of the chromosomal material which already it has and such bacteria which has such type of uh, genetic material along with which uh, uh, it has F plasmid plus its own copy few parts of its own copy is known as marrow diploid so the answer will be marrow diploids <clears throat> sorry i actually am suffering from cold so because of this reason also i delayed in recording i'm very sorry if you were not able to hear my voice very clearly now next question maternal inheritance of coiling of cell in a snail is well established i am not going to read whole question i am just focusing on the a fact about it here the dominant allele is D and the recessive allele is D and here it is asking that what will be the cross between the hybrid one DD along with its the male sinistral snail which has the dominant uh, sorry recessive allele DD without any doubt this will have one is to one ratio if you will see this is a type of back cross or the weight for the back cross where, where you uh, who cross the F1 progeny with one of its recessive parents. So the answer will be 1 is to 1. Next question is the plot of Dn by Dt as a function of uh, population density L a, a bell shaped curve. Next question. Yes, this question is actually about the maximum susten uh, sustainable yield, which having the formula r k by 4 and at k half value this msy comes so when we will calculate for this you will not get any of this results so i'm not sure or what will that whether this question is wrong or, or i am wrong i'm not sure about it so i am leaving this question for you Next is the which of the following is the correct ranking of ecosystem based on the root shoot ratio of plants. Actually, we can't calculate the root and shoot ratios. There are certain process like uh, picking out of the plants and drying of their roots and shoots and uh, calculating their dry, ma dry mass. So after all this process, we come to know that the uh, answer will be this 2-1 which has having temperate grassland has very highest root to shoot ratio and the tropical dry forest has the lesser one. Next question is uh, no explanation is needed. It is from the evolution chapter. 
and age of fishes is the devonian definitely you all know about this yes which of the following is not an assumption of hardy van berg model actually there are five assumptions of the hardy van berg models these are the random mating infinite population size no mutation no genetic migration or we can say permanent movement of alleles from one population to another is only by dispersion of individual and there should be no natural selection then only we can apply the hardy van berg model and on this basis the answer will be one allele is dominant another allele is recessive we are not focusing on any dominant or, or uh, recessive uh, locus rather we are taking a very infinite population or the very large population so the answer will be three next two questions is very theoretical no need of explanation that is which of the following geological period is characterized by the first appearance of mammals we all know that comes in the Tri Triassic era where uh, yeah, it has developed from the reptiles and then algae having chlorophyll a formidable starch as storage product and lacking flagellate cells belong to class Rhodophyceae. this is has is very large chapter i am not explaining in this video i will provide that in my upcoming videos of the classification so don't forget to subscribe for that update next question is which of the following is not the true for monocots actually uh, during evolution in the angiosperms uh, the pollen grains was was uh, firstly it was single furrow or the pore through out the uh, through through the outer layer is the, there is only one pore which is known as monosulcate but when uh, in case of you feel to look about the dicot it has uh, three pores and its pollen which is known as triporate so the answer will be tricol pat pollen next question individual occupying a particular habitat and adapted to it phenotypically but not genotypically are known as actually the answer is the pheno uh, is the ecofins many of you may have confused in these two terms for ecofins and ecotypes this is the basic difference between ecofins and ecotypes is that it is only the phenotypic change or the phenotypic adaptation while ecotypes uh, is ev evolution because of certain mutations or uh, certain genetic changes so the answer will be eco fins next question is which of the following statements support the concept of trade off in the evolution of life history let's have a look over the options level of parental care and cluster size size are positively related if the cluster size is more than it is not possible to have a uh, more care for each and every individual so this will be wrong animals maturing early tends to live longer it doesn't mean because you can uh, see even in your surrounding that uh, a dog can mature very early but it has very uh, very fewer uh, life span in comparison to us where where our ha we have the more uh, time for we will take more time for the maturation an increase in si seed size is only associated with a decrease in seed number this is true you can take the example of mango which has very large seed and only one so the answer will be three next question the tetanus vaccines given to human in the case of deep cut is a without any doubt it will be a toxoid vaccine yes this question uh, first let me read it out the electro spray and adjacent spectrum of a mixture of two peptides shows the peak with m by z or the mass by charge value of 301 401 501 and 601 the molecular weight of the peptides are actually while uh, we are talking about the molecular weight here we have the mass by charge ratio which is 301 now when we are talking about the mass spectroscopy then it's nearby peak will may have the charge of z plus 1 so let's uh, after calculating the charge we can calculate the mass how we can say the mass is equals to 301 z 
Suppose this two pick both 301 and 401 has a, uh, is the result of a same peptide. Then we can say that the mass of mass or uh, we can say the mass into 401 Z. This M and this M will be equal or 301 Z equals to it is Z1 and Z2. 401 Z2. Now we have to calculate the charge. Now uh, what we do in uh, while calculation of the charge, suppose for taking M1 and M2 which is which are equal, suppose M1 is differed by the one charge. So we can say M plus 1 is equals to 301 Z plus 1 and the M2 is le let it be a, as the M. 401 into Z. Now, as these two mass are equal, so we can also simplify this is a, as equation 1. From the equation 1, we can solve this like M is equals to 301Z uh, plus 301. For the M, it will be minus 1. So, this M will be 301Z plus 300. As this two equation 2 and equation 3. Uh, 2 is equals to 3 because the mass were from the same peptide. So it will be 401Z Z, Z equals to 301Z plus 300. And when we will calculate this, we will get the value of Z as 3. So the charge associated with this mass 401 is Z and the charge associated with uh, M plus 1 or this uh, 301 is Z plus 1 or equals to 4. So for the uh, for, uh, for 401 it is 3 and for 301 it is 4. So, the mass for 401 and mass for 400, uh, sorry, 301 will be equal. So, we can calculate mass as uh, the formula for calculation is mass is that 401 minus 1 into 3 and uh, we will take average of this 1 minus 1 into 4 is equals to 200, 1200 is equals to 1200 and when we will take the average it will be 1200 so now we have calculated the pep and the mass for the one peptide but difficulty is that when we will solve for this two we will not get any of this answer but i think as these two picks are uh, nearby so or we can say them if the charge is three four three then it will be have two and it will have one charge so when we calculate for uh, for this so by same process then you will not get any of this value but you, we are getting 1200 so i think the answer will be first one which is 1200 and 1250 because uh, the peaks are this is from the two peptides and these are almost nearby or, or having the same distance so it should be somewhat nearby i'm not very much sure about it so let move to the second question yes an optical measurement of a protein is taken before both before and after a digestion of a protein by a protease. Once you have digested a protein by its protease, its absorption will decrease. Or uh, we can say when we, we have uh, all the compound had has its own fingerprint value or the absorbance or maximum absorbance. So when there will be decrease in absorbance or increase in absor absorbance. From there, we can check out the structure of a particular uh, protein, uh, whether it get uh, denatured or not. So, the answer of this question will be absorbance at 280 nanometer. By uh, taking this, the absorbance at 280 nanometer, we can analyze whether the, uh, the whether there is change in uh, change in the measurement of the structure of the protein or not because the question is here after digestion of protein by a protease in which of the following spectro photometric measures the signal changes obviously the signal will changes because uh, the protein structure has get changed 
we should have a particular fingerprint uh, absorbance next question is which uh, in which of the following mating system there is likely to be no conflict of interest over reproductive success between the sexes in all of this three there is the one man a, a one male multiple female and number of female or multiple female with the and am uh, number of female so the answer will be promiscuity where there is where one male can mate with any of the female no matter where it has to compete with their size or other thing so the answer will be promiscuity next is which of the following analytical techniques does not evolve an optical measurement the answer is differential scanning is colorimetry because from the colorimetry you can also can guess about this question as the colorimetry deals with the temperature in this technique we uh, we analyze the change in the temperature or the melting point of a compound or which can denature because at the certain temperature so here we are using the heat not any optical measurement but in ELISA microarray and flow cytometry, we can uh, use the optical measurement. In ELISA too, whenever we tag any any antibody with any of the optically active compound, from there we can um, can analyze the optical uh, optical uh, use some optical measurement to analyze our result. Okay. Next is the which uh, gene have been introduced in ball guard to cotton to get resistance again cotton ball worm tobacco ball worm and pink ball worm the answer is cry 1 ac and cry 2 ab i will discuss about this in my detail because it's not a short topic that i can discuss how we can insert the gene in cotton and all i will discuss in my upcoming videos Different leads are used to measure to record ECG of human. Which of the following is not unipolar leads? I have listed all the uh, the leads used in the ECG, and from here you will see that the bipolar limb leads is uh, uh, is bipolar, which is also known as standard limb leads. So the answer will be standard limb leads. I have listed it for you so that in upcoming examination, if such questions repeated, then you can. Uh, uh, you can easily solve this now the last question of this video is that the presence and distribution of a specific messenger RNAs within a cell can be detected by if we can detect it by a very simple method that is in situ hybridization what do we do in messenger RNA a specific messenger RNA we hybridize with a DNA okay so this is a very simple technique for the analysis or the detection of the messenger RNA in northern plot and we can't specify a particular messenger RNA also in real time PCR and these two are also time taking and uh, expensive too and the best way to switch it for this is the in situ hybridization. So the I will go for the three. So this was the last video of the part B and I uh, hope that uh, you have understood all the questions and if such uh, such questions get repeated in your upcoming examination then you can solve it in very easy way so all the best for your upcoming examinations uh, i am i think your dvt uh, question uh, sorry application form is also a, in the way you can uh, apply their online such questions can also be asked in dbt so once you have a command over all this topic then you can easily crack any of any type of examination so all the best for your upcoming examination and don't forget to subscribe and share my channel for the explanation of part c and some other videos of related topics till then goodbye and have a nice day